welcome back to my channel so today i am actually going to be unboxing my newest edition my newest camera so now i'm going to have two cameras in my stash and long story short before i get to the box and the reason why i bought a new camera was because one i wanted better quality in terms of vlogging and this camera that i bought it goes up to 4k my camera currently that i have it goes up to 1080 which don't get me wrong the quality is still good i'm still going to be using this camera right now that i'm using filming on which is the power shot xx sx 530hs I, I had to remember that <laughs> um because i have i don't have my glasses so it's blurry but it is on my camera so i did buy another canon camera but the reason why i wanted a new camera for a while um i said i want i've been wanting a camera for two reasons a new camera that is really smaller and compact when i vlog especially because i'm going to be traveling later this month um, this camera that I currently film with is really heavy and it's bulky, that's one. Um, two, I wanted a camera that had the flip screen because I can see myself when I vlog. And this camera that I currently have does not have, have a flip screen, it's just facing towards me so I can't see anything else. Um, so I have to like make sure that it's set up correctly, of course, when I'm filming for you guys. And third, um, I was thinking about price as well. Because I already spent money on this camera, which this camera that I currently filming on, this Canon, was about... I think 300 and something I got a bundle on Amazon um, my second camera I also got a Canon like I said um, but this one was 400 and yes I contemplated getting the Canon G7 GC G7 X whatever yeah that's I think that's what it's called but just because of the price I was like do I really want to spend that much money or because I already like I said I already have a camera I wanted I just wanted a camera specifically for vlogging um, and that was it so I decided on I made my choice and I decided on this Canon PowerShot. So it's another power is another camera in the PowerShot line, but it's just a little different. It's a little smaller and compact. And you know, of course, I was going through different cameras, reading the specs and things of that nature. Off rip, it comes in the box as always, says Canon PowerShot SX. So this one is the Canon PowerShot SX 740HS. So I've been noticing a cool feature. I don't know if this is all the Canons, but this Canon as well, but I never really used it. But apparently you can connect it to Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And you can use Bluetooth to connect it towards of devices, I believe, towards um, laptops. But I've never tried it because I normally just take out the SD card and transfer it into my um, laptop. So I never really tried it. But yes, I'm just going to go ahead and open the box and show you guys the camera. Because I actually haven't opened the box. I just literally took it out of the packaging. It ended, of course, it came in a bigger box. Uh, but I threw that box away. So, of course, when you open it up, you have your um, warranty. Very important. If anything breaks, um, I hope not to break this one. Because if you've watched my last year vlog bits, I actually dropped this camera that I currently have. And I had to send it for replacement and they gave me a different one. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to have that... Um, happen again of course you're getting started your manual um normally these stuff are pretty much uh easy to easy to use so i mean if there's anything else i may need to look at then i'll look at it but i think it's pretty self-explanatory being that i already have a camera next is just to register your camera just all the you know the things that they put in here so now onto the camera. So before I get into the camera, I got so many of these battery packs. I think now I have I'm up to four battery packs now, but they're always good to have. So I got a battery pack. Um, it looks like the battery looks a little smaller, so it's not the same. So it came in this bag. All right, this is nice. This is nice. Like I wish I could hold both. If I was on my phone, probably if I would vlog on my phone, maybe I'll do a, a comparison like b-roll shot and put it here but if you guys see if you just compare it to the camera that i'm filming on now and this one this is so much smaller so much lighter like literally i can put this in a little slot in my bag to carry this is so much com so compact i love this all right so first off uh as you guys can see this is the lens and then I got the flip screen, which I'm super duper excited about because now you, I could be looking at myself and I could see myself. Uh, let's see here. On the side, it has the HDMI port and the USB port. 
Um, I wonder if it has a microphone because uh, if you saw like not all the cannons have the microphone port. Yeah, it looks like this one doesn't either. Like my current one, it's not the standard DSLR, but that's totally fine. I wonder if it's going to turn on. Uh, I guess. Oh. Trying to figure out where the battery. Gonna have to be careful though with this um, screen. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the battery pack is. Okay, so this is very interesting. So it looks like. Oh, all right. <laughs> There you go. So you press this button and it opens up. And I guess that is how you put uh, the battery. I think. Maybe not. Right. I'm going to push that in for a second. See? So you see the stuff like this you do need the manual for because you know I'm trying to figure out. So here you put the... Oh, here you go. So on the bottom it says... Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. It says car slash battery. Open and lock. I think what this was, this was actually flash, you guys, that I just clicked on. That was the flash button. Uh, good to know. Uh, so, yes. So, let's see. If I open this up. Oh, great. So, just like my other Canon in that the car slot and the battery slot. Um, yeah. So, you put the SD card and the, and the battery. Now, what I noticed is they only give you a battery charger. I don't... Oh. What's this? Okay, this is just a string to hold it. Oh, they do give you a battery. I was about to say, they don't give you a battery. So they do give you a battery, um, but they don't give you, uh, what do you call this, the SD card. So that's something to note if you buy any of this ca these cameras or this camera in particular. You have to make sure you have an SD card. Luckily, I already have an SD card, so that's not going to be an issue for me because I already had a camera. But that's something to know if you want to use it right away that you don't have the SD card. So I'm actually going to test it out. I'm going to go ahead and get my other mem uh, SD card because I'm not using it to film right now. And I'm going to go put it ahead and put it in here. Let's see if this battery charge. If not, I'm going to have to use my battery, my other batteries. Hopefully it does. I, I believe they are the same sizing, but I don't know. I feel like this one is a little smaller. And if that's the case, and I'm going to only have this, I'm going to have to be charging this like crazy or buy another one. So, Because as you guys can see, the battery is pretty small, and I think it's smaller than my cam current camera. So let me go get my SD card. Let's see if this battery is charged. It's cool. So my other camera, you just press it down to lock it. This one, you actually have to click the lock button. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, well, the battery is definitely uh, working, and it's charged. As you guys can see... Uh, I have to program it for the date and stuff like that. I mean, I had to set it up so that I can um, set up the date and the time. It's, in, it's showing, uh, what do you call that time? Not the regular time, but mil like military time. I don't really care. Uh, the battery definitely got get charged. Um, as you guys can see, this is my... Just so you guys can see the quality. I don't know if you guys can see it through this camera. But yeah. I love that. It's so clear. You see, the words are so clear. That's just my calendar. I'm trying to see myself if I do this way so you guys can see me. So, yeah. I'm, I want to actually see the flip, how it will look with the flip screen. Ooh. This quality. First off, I wish you guys could see this. The quality is impeccable. I'll go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to take out the camera and everything. And it also, also has, like, my other camera... Uh, this is the zoom button. I can tell certain stuff you can tell what they are. The zoom button. This is off, obviously to take like uh, if you're taking regular photos. Like I said, I'm using it for more vlogging. I actually had it on audio. Um, but the actual f movie thing, I have to switch it over. But the buttons are pretty much the same like my other Canon in terms of like audio, pictures, different stuff like that. It's so All these buttons are similar. You just got to kind of just move. Pretty much you got to move it until it moves to where you want it to go. Um, so like I said, I wanted to do movie. So I moved it to movie now. So it's like on vlogging. But yeah, so I don't think I show you guys a close up. But let me show you real quick. Um, this is, like I said, for, this is in 4K. Um, this is the 40X optical zoom. So, but yeah, here's a close up. And it has 20.3 megapixels if that's you know something that you look for I wasn't really paying attention like I said to those big details for me it was the quality the price and the flip screen those are the was my main 
three things that I was really focusing on and all these three gave me that so yeah this is fully 4k nothing there's no 1080p no 720 like this one that I currently film on this is just strictly like it says on top 4k so that's the quality and that's that but here's a close-up of what it looks like And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other side with the flip screen. I'm not going to make this video long because it doesn't need to be long, but I just want to show you guys my new camera. I am excited for you guys to see that quality uh, content when it comes to vlogs nothing is going to be nice and crisp and i can't wait to um do a vlog with it but anyway make sure you like you comment you subscribe hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you're notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one